Hey guys, it's Kathleen and I am back with another Thrift With Me video. This is footage from this past Saturday and I went to two yard sales all together. Um, one of them was an indoor yard sale, which I was very excited about because it was really crappy weather. Um, and then the other one was just a drive-by. I was on my way to a different yard sale and then I saw the signs for this one and it was unadvertised and it ended up being really, really good. So I didn't even make it to the other yard sale. Um, if you like thrifting content, you are at the right place. Please subscribe to our channel. Um, we would love to have you join our community. And uh, let's go and take a look at the footage and then come on back for the thrift haul. How much are your clothes? I was looking at the um, Victoria's Secret. Oh, no. Would you do five for the set? Um, yeah, I would do five. Okay. That's a very nice one. Yeah, it's cute. I like it. Mm. You got it? Oh, yeah. Okay. I just have to finagle the... Uh... Oh, no, it's fine. All I have to do is get rid of my keys. How much are your clothes? Clothes? Okay, great, thanks. Wow, 
There you go. <laughs> How much are these, the fidget items? Are they 50 cents a piece? Now these are just a quarter a piece, and then these two are 50 cents each. Okay. I'm going to take these for my treasure box. Okay guys, I'm back with the thrift haul portion of the video. So in total, I went to two yard sales today and um, the first one was a completely indoor yard sale and it was just meh. I mean, I did get a couple of things, 
um, but nothing really spectacular. If you remember in the footage there, she did have this really neat like coveralls set that had Adidas on it. It was really interesting, but she wanted 20 bucks for it. And I just wasn't willing to gamble um, that much and take that much of a loss if it ended up being nothing. I did pick up a couple of clothing items. She had all of her rack clothing were like um, listed for $2 a piece with just a couple of exceptions. So this is a pair of seven for all mankind, size 30 skinny jeans. They're in decent condition. I'm going to list them as distressed for obvious reasons, but hey, holes seem to sell. So that is not a bad deal. Um, and for two bucks, I think that these should sell right around the 15 to $20 mark. I also picked up for the first time ever a pair of cool KUHL hiking pants. They are, they've got either dog hair or cat hair, but other than that, they're in really good condition. And so these are in a size six, so not the best size to sell, but that's okay. I would expect that these would bring in somewhere around the $28 mark. Then she had this set. It was a Victoria's Secret, not gold label, just normal, regular, modern um, Victoria's Secrets. But I thought it was so pretty. Look, it's in what I thought was really good condition, size medium, so jammy top, which is fine. Then we got to the bottoms, which of course, you know, I didn't look at. I just threw it in the bag because she only charged me $5 for them. And then when I got home, I realized that the whole left side of the pajamas was separated at the seam. So I just took a needle and thread and just stitched it up. So I feel like it came pretty good. I'll just take a photo of it and note it for the um, buyer. But certainly the pajama top will cover that. Then when I was, Lily, then when I was getting ready to film, I realized that <laughs> there was another problem. So, I mean, again, thankfully it is right on the seam. So I'll stitch it up, photograph it, note it, but that's gonna be a big want wah when I go for pricing. And then I was really excited because this robe, even though it was totally stained, cause look at, I mean, this is gorgeous. I think it's gorgeous. Um, this robe had a lot of stains down the front lapels and also on the sleeves. So I did my concoction and those stains came out. And then when I, real I realized that I had missed one spot here, which you can see I've got my concoction soaking there and one spot on the sleeve I had missed. So my concoction is soaking now. If you're new to my channel, my concoction is one part peroxide, one part Dawn dishwashing liquid and one part baking soda. Let it sit for an hour, then run it through the wash. It takes out so many stains. I won't say every stain because there are certainly some things that don't come out, but it is golden. I mean, it gets a lot of stuff out. So I have no reason to believe this spot's not gonna come out. I'm gonna let it soak for a little bit longer, run it through the washer, and then hopefully I'll be ready to list that. So because of all of those condition issues, and I'm not really sure how those stains are going to end up, um, I'm not really sure where I'm gonna list it. I'm estimating probably around the 18 to $20 mark if I can get the stains out, even with the repairs that I have to make to the pajama bottoms. But um, it might be a little bit lower if those stains don't come out, but I should definitely make my money back. Then I was driving to another yard sale that I wasn't even sure if it was gonna still be there because it wasn't one of those sales that said rain or shine. So I'm like, I'm probably gonna schlep all the way over there and it's gonna be closed, especially because they had started it on Friday. So I'm like, there's no incentive for them to open up the second day if they got rid of a lot of their stuff Friday. So I was on my way driving there anyway and I saw an unadvertised yard sale and this one ended up being really, really good. I mean, it's not like I bought a ton of stuff, but it was just, I got a couple of really good deals, really good prices. The first thing that I bought um, I will just flash a picture up there because it's already in my kitchen. And I don't feel like unplugging it and dragging it in here was a Bose um, docking station. It was the old docking station for the old iPods, but it doesn't matter because all you have to do is go on eBay and order an Apple converter or adapter. I can't remember what it's called, um, but it is a um, 30 prong to lightning 
converter or adapter. I'll flash a picture of that up there too because I've already ordered mine. And then you can use it with your, your current iPhones. So I was super stoked about that because I love Bose products. This came with the box, with the original instructions, all the things, so when I'm done with it, I will just be able to resell it really easily. And I only pay 20 bucks for it, which that's a great price for Bose. Okay, then she had a bin of 25 cent items. So I grabbed this for 25 cents and this was a fail. This is Flanagan. Um, I only found two solds for him and they were both for 99 cents, so fabulous. I am going to tuck Flanagan away into my death pile until St. Patrick's Day because maybe I'll get $2 for him. Then I grabbed this guy, and the only reason I'm picking up these Beanie Babies is because they were 25 cents and they both still have their tags. So this guy is Hopscotch, and he does a little bit better. So Hopscotch should probably go for somewhere around the 10 to $12 mark, which for a quarter, hey, that's a great return. And then I got Squidward. And I didn't, I haven't ever sold Spongebob Thai Beanie Babies, but I figured everybody loves Spongebob. How could you not? So I grabbed him for a quarter and he has already sold. I listed him for 30 bucks and he sold within just an hour of having listed him. So that was a great investment for a quarter. Okay. Um, I haven't looked at the comps yet on this, but it's Carhartt, y'all. And it's large. Look at how fabulous. This was only $2. I didn't know any condition issues, haven't found any stains, nothing. So I was happy to pick that up for two bucks. Next, um, I got these Levi's. They are in a size 10, but clearly they are new with tags. Capris, they're probably not gonna go terribly high, but even if I get $15 for them, this was only a $2 item, so that's fine. I may have made a mistake on these, but they were only 50 cents. So she was selling, pairs of Levi's 550 jeans for 50 cents. And I looked at them, I'm like, yeah, they're a little bit distressed, but I didn't realize how distressed. So they have holes in the butts, both of them. But you know what? Sometimes people like that. So I'm just gonna, I, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to list them together or if I'm gonna part them out. Um, I'll have to take a little bit of a closer look at the comps and see. But again, for a total dollar investment for Levi's, that's not bad. Okay, I grabbed this because it was only 50 cents and it was two Disney patches. However, this one, when I looked at the Winnie the Pooh when I got him home, I think that he has been ironed on already. And so I did not list him. However, this one has not been ironed on. So it is new, probably not gonna get more than maybe $10 for it, but. Still, it was a good pickup for only 50 cents. There was one other item that was in the quarter box, this Star Wars voice keychain. Um, the comps aren't anything special with this, but a quarter. It's Christmas time. This might be something that somebody wants to put in their stocking. So I like picking up things like that. This was a fail. This is a Spode ornament. I grabbed it because I thought it was new in the box. It is not. It's missing like the plastic pieces. But that's okay, it's just gonna go on my tree. Um, when I looked at the comps, there were like a ton listed, hardly any sold. The ones that sold, sold for like four bucks. So it's just really not worth my time. And then the absolute best find were these Polly Pockets. So I found this and I flipped it over and as soon as I saw Bluebird, I just threw it right in my bag. Y'all, this is like new condition. So it's got three dolls with it. Um, I don't believe they are the dolls that originally came with it, but close enough for government work. I just stuck them in there. But there are no like marks. There's no paint wear. There's nothing. There's like no signs of use for this. So I have this one listed for $44. So I paid $2 for this and then $1 for this bag of figures and accessories. And so I started going through them. And I started to see that some of them were Polly Pockets. And so I separated them all out and listed them all separately. And actually, two of them, having been parted out, both sold. So one sold for $10 and one sold for $12. I cannot remember which sold for 10 and which sold for 12, but look how cute. This one, I think, is Ella, and this one is like a fairy could have that wrong. Um, 
definitely could be wrong. I'll flash the name up there because I looked it up. Um, so those two have already sold. So I'm, I've got $28 out of this $3 total investment. This ended up being nothing. I thought it was going to be something great. It probably won't sell for more than 2 or $3. And then I found a, a Disney. This is Cinderella. It goes with the stepmother's cottage. So I've got this listed for $12. So if somebody's looking for a replacement Cinderella, then I am in luck. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, but this is also Bluebird Toys. It has BBT on the back. And so this is clearly a Polly Pocket item. Then I found two of the same, these princesses. And so I've just listed each of them for $12. Then I found this, and I really don't know if this is anything or nothing. But to be honest, they are the cutest little stinking things. These are like little rubber Polly Pocket dolls and super flexible. And then there are these two bikes. And I honestly don't know that it goes with that. Oh, you know what? It's got like a little round thing. So it probably goes with one of the round people. Hmm. That's probably what it goes with. Yeah, so maybe I should just sell these two girls separate. I don't know, I have to, I, I've been doing Google Lens and everything and I just can't find these two girls. So let me know if in the comments if you know. I mean, they definitely look like Polly Pocket, but I don't even see any markings on them. So I don't know what to do with them. But that was a really great find for only three bucks. All right guys, that's it for this Thrift With Me video. If you like reselling content, please hit the subscribe button. We would love to have you join our little community. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye, guys.